No one plans for ruin. I did not ask for this ever-thickening fog, for the illness and decay that it brings. It was no threat at first, just a, a light haze over fresh morning dew, bringing greater sheen to ripe berries and a, a bountiful fullness to grazing beasts. How subtly that sheen dulls and the, the bounty dries up. As it begins to creep in, to seep in, and whispers turn to whimpers. Food spoiled, livestock dead, water poisoned. Some call it a cleansing. Most call it the Walgrim. I call it my destiny. My rule seemed bound to failure. But for failure, I'd never planned. But you, what destiny awaits the one who walks amongst the Walgrim without fear? It has always been you. So here, take this gift, the mantle it bestows. Pray that you might bear its weight a little better than I. But. Never forget, no one plans for ruin. When the Walgrim calls, how will you answer? Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome! As you can tell from the intro, we are diving into Thrive Heavy Lies The Crown. Now, this is a demo. This is on Steam Next Fest at the moment. And as you can see from this little window here, there are some things that have been streamlined or in a slightly minimal content at the moment for this demo whilst they release this and get some feedback. Now... I'm saying this on all of the videos I'm releasing for Steam Next Fest. If you do enjoy this video and you do enjoy this game, please do put it down into the comments below. Hit that like button. The more support the video gains, basically, the more chance there is of me coming back to it and showing more of it on my channel in the future as the game continues to develop. So with that, let's jump straight in to the single player. And let's see what's going on. Oh, I'll select your province. Um, I like the name of Dranoth. Uh, for absolutely no particular reason. Uh, as you can see, yes, it's a work in progress and only a small snapshot. Obviously, that is something to remember with all of these Next Fest games. They are not fully released games. Most of them are early access. And in fact, most of them are some of them even before early access. Like I said, that is something to keep in mind. Global coin storage increases with the construction of additional vaults. I'm assuming that's capacity, like it would be on most things. The more storage buildings you have, the more you can hold. I say a coin storage. So yeah. Loading the UI, loading finalization, and of course, I'm not gonna. I have absolutely no idea what to expect in this game. Um, I don't really know a lot about it. It looked interesting, and so I'm gonna try out the demo, and I'm putting it on my channel. That's basically how it goes. Um, there's no guarantee that I'm even going to like the game. And there's no guarantee that I am even going to give it a thumbs up by the end. But who knows? Two months since the fall of Aldemore. Since you gathered up the survivors and set forth toward a new home. Nysamor is the future. A land free from the terrors of the past. Here you will raise up a new kingdom. Guided by the loyal advisors who form your Curia. Your advisors are quite knowledgeable, but none can deny their own self-interests. Each has a plan for your reign. In the end, you alone must set the tone of your rule. Where do your interests lie? Where wisdom has grown, little fear remains. We rise with vigilance, scared but unbroken. Prosperity's pursuit endures a bountiful future. We will go for knowledge. Hold. Done. Would you like to play the tutorial? Yes, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. 
Uh, zoom in and zoom out controls and everything seem like normal. Now that you found your new home, let's move our caravan to the location you wish to build the keep. Once you found a perfect spot, press the highlighted button to deploy the caravan. Um, sure, well, I assume I have to be in this area. I'm surrounded by trees and open grassland. It'll do. Deploy. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at our little keep. It's a cart with crates on it. Let's construct our keep. Select your caravan in the information pane. Click the keep button and place it where you desire. Keep. Okay. So, nicely gridded. Let's go quite close to the trees. Quite close to the meadows as well on the other side. Let's go about here. Every king receives one keep so that a hub of government and rule can be established. Later on, you'll be able to build additional keeps at great expense. Place your keep. Okay, that's getting built up. Ooh. Let's uh, zoom in and watch this go. All of these people have nowhere to live, and this building does not have a road. Very nice. Our next step should be that of resource gathering and management. You build a primitive stockpile to house what we collect. You can find it in the build menu within the farmer tab. A wise ruler should also set up a reliable road network whilst placing buildings. As good, goods move faster between buildings connected by roads. Um, again, we only get one key. <laughs> Thought I set twice now. Let's go to the farm structure. And distribute some among the homes. Primitive stockpile. Well, let's go and build this. I'm going to build it on an adjacent corner. We have a farmer's house. We have food stores. A well. A wood chopper. And then we get beyond that. Converts logs into firewood. Provides water to all buildings located within the area of influence. Homes of thatch and wood. Provides a hub for all food gathered and distributed. Okay, what else have we got? Logistics. Dirt road. I'm going to go and build one of these here. We have a bridge. Various structures have area of influence. This is indicated by a colored border around the selected structure. All buildings and citizens within these borders are affected by these structures, while those beyond their boundaries receive no benefit from them whatsoever. Homes and buildings within its area of influence. RK okay, can distrib distribute stuff amongst the homes and buildings within its area of influence. Interesting. I wonder if you need one of these every so often to be able to keep building buildings. We can begin to place resource camps where the resources are plentiful in order to build our resources. Yes, let's build a little loggers camp. I'm going to build that there. Um, stone, I... Is this stone? I can assume all these little nodes are stone. With that, let's build... Here, eh? Manually adjust the area of influence of a resource map. Simply click the structure and adjust the slider. Try this now by selecting one of your camps and adjusting the slider with its interface. This is a camp. No, this is a stock bar. Logger camp. Oh! Ooh! Interesting. Ah, so you can choose how far you want them to go. They can go to that range. You guys can go a little bit further, I guess. So I don't know if... Any stone actually ends up back here? Oh yeah, we're gathering two stone. Interesting. And you wanted a food stockpile next. Okay, so these buildings seem to just distribute stuff amongst your citizens. So I guess I want it next to this. Let's...
We now have a building going. Sorry, uh, a road going to there. Okay, oh, we have a nice bit of day and night cycle. Construct a food market, is that what I'm doing? No, I'm building a food store. That's what I'm building. Okay, ah, yes, of course, one of the things I did mention, some of the localization and, I guess, translations are uh, not quite 100% accurate due to the fact that this is still a beta mode. Okay, well, that's building. I'm just going to go ahead and build a well because uh, I assume that's going to be required. Oh, I like it. Our buildings overlap. Access to deliver the goods. Roads allow for swift movements. Find the select the road tool. Between your food stores and primitive stockpile. Okay, well, we've done that. Two are connected. Not that we have any food. Build a road between these two buildings. I have done. Um, okay. Food stores. There's no one gathering any food at the moment. Is this going to let me... Nope. How about I block all the way around? Food market and primitive stockpile. Alright, well, yeah, okay, there's an interesting one. Seems to have kind of gotten a bit stuck in the tutorial, to be honest. Okay, we're building some... Oh, iron. Oh, wait, so is this iron? Okay, that's stone. No, that is stone. Is this all stone? Oh, this is, uh... Well, there's definitely one thing that needs to be improved, is uh, letting you know what resources are which. What do we have over here? Oh, we have some... More stone, I guess? I need a mountain, is what I need. Oh, we've got plenty of stone up here. That may have been a better starting area. Juices apples. Oh, and I get to uh, free build an orchard, do I? Let's... A nice open space over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go one up. And we have... Homes with thatch and wood providing simple and comfortable shelter for your farmers. We have a well. We could do it with a wood chopper. Labor structures, we don't have any of those. Military structures, they're all locked as well. Uh, demolition style building. Ah, so hang on. How about, how about if I try... If I get rid of this... Okay, you no longer have... No, you no longer have a road going to you. Let's... Okay, now you no longer have a rope going to you. Let's see if I can... Get past this point. No? Uh, I have... Twenty people. Three employed there. One, two, three, four, five. Six are employed there. Six are employed there. That's, wait, what, 12, 15? You have none, and you have none. So I should have five people, I think, not working? 20 farmers. Global total. I'm not quite sure. No workers in this building. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Take one out of you. And there you go, one who went into you. Um, that road problem. It's, it's definitely been achieved. I should probably stop moving ahead, because otherwise it's probably going to have another go at me. Um, no. 
Hey, 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 we got someone producing some water. Uh, I need more people is what I need. One of you. Let's take one of you. Doesn't say whether I have idle people. That's always interesting. Oh, no, one's going into that. Uh, let's chuck one into this. Okay. Pack it back up for travel. Oh, that's not quite what I wanted to do. Let's stick you out of the way in over here for now, actually. Hey, he uses the roads. I love it. Just deploy yourself there. Nothing inside the uh, caravan anyway. Uh, well, interestingly, so we're playing the demo. It looks like we've come to our first problem. The um, we, we need these buildings to be joined by a road, and uh, it's not recognizing that they're joined by a road. So uh, we've, we've kind of come to the end of... The demo, in essence, because we've broken it. See, now it's no longer joined by road. Oh, in fact, so how about how about we do this? How about we really? Oh, because that wasn't joined by a road. Because that's the front of it. Ah. Well, there you go, folks. Pay attention to the little symbols. Summary of your resource displayed at the top right of your screen. You can customize the resource displayed by clicking on them. And selecting the replacement you would like in that slot. Okay. These are our current resources, and they're all up there anyway. Homes provide each class with a sense of security, along with insight into the resident's happiness and well-being. But at least 12 farmer houses to provide the living spaces for our settlers, with additional homes to accommodate newcomers to your community. You'll find them in the build menu under the farmer tab. Okay, we can't quite get one in the middle there. Uh, hmm. Rotate view. How do we... Aha! R to rotate a building. Figured that one out. Pretty easy. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah, sure. Nine. Ten. 11, 12. I'm a little bit annoyed by this gap and the fact that now these things don't uh, line up properly. It's going to bug the aestheticness in me. I hope we get some gardens or something and I can just fill the gaps with the gardens. That'll work. Uh, we apparently have no water. But we do. We have 160. We have no water. There you go. Now we have some water in our resources stocks as well. Hey, happiness is going up. Happiness, 75 out of 100. Because you don't have firewood. Well, if that's how you feel about things. So each house has spaces for... One person needs more... More needs slash luxuries required for people to move in. Each house gets one person. Uh, okay, luxuries is cider and hemp clothing. Turn that back off. Let's shrink that that way. We are building the 12 farmer houses. They are very much going up. And let's see if there's anything else we can click on. No, nope, that's the log thing. That's the day. That's the speed. Let's have a look at settings very quickly. Let's see if we can make this thing look prettier. Graphics. Uh, no, quality is ultra. Well, then let's just go back to the game. Done. Event log. Farmer house bonus. Spared when constructing your farmer's homes unless it's worth the risk. Okay. I don't quite know what I'm on here. What am I on? 
Oh, Tome of Knowledge. You always cost me gold, and I don't have any gold. Diplomacy. Haven't met any. Oh, no, we do have all of these towns nearby. I'm friendly with all of them. That's good. Trade. Uh, there are no trade routes to be created. Edicts. Taxed food delivery, and there's a festival. I can do both of them. Increases consumption of all goods by 5%, increases happiness. And I'm guessing taxes, food deliveries. And jobs. I have five out of five builders. I have zero people unemployed. And this shows everybody in the different areas. And I guess you change the priority of which ones you want to be filled first. Interesting. And then we have labor population. Well, there you go. That shows those guys. It doesn't show me... For instance, how many... Okay, we've got no storage building nearby. But, uh... I guess that may have been because I... I <laughs> turned off the road, maybe? Not quite sure. It's not telling me what that is to do with. Not this one. Ooh, we're making tax! I make... Eight wealth off my farmers. Wonder if I'll get more as I keep building buildings. Minus, uh, apparently I pay two tax for something, or maybe that's going up, and that's how much I'm collecting each turn. Not quite sure. Let's fast forward and get these twelve farmer houses built. Farmer house was constructed. Oh, my tax hasn't gone up. Like I said, it doesn't say. How much of your population is in houses? Which would obviously be a nice metric to know. Oh, nice. We've got a couple of things that modify the happiness. That's good to see. And obviously, you'll be able to see the things that make it worse, so you'll be able to fix them. That's good as well. Act 1, events start settling in. Let's go back to normal speed. What have we got? The foundations of your settlement have been laid, but much must be done to encourage its growth. Your Curia, a small group of advisors, will help you find your way. Chancellor Bodhi de Clan and Duke Donovan Stanton are those who remain from the Fallen King's Curia. Sir Osain Hayward, a trusted knight and friend, has been added to round off the group. Together, you must determine where best to focus your efforts in this fledgling kingdom. And who do we have here? Bodhi de Clan. The solution is easily found, your majesty. Without our people, we would not have come this far. Their resilience should be rewarded, instilling confidence and joy. It is true, Chancellor, that we've overcome much. The tragedies of the past are but a few steps behind us. This is why we should focus on securing and protecting what we're starting here. Only with a strong defense can we find the courage to rise once more. Both reasonable positions, gentlemen. Yes, your highness, reasonable to be certain, yet both overlooking that which most reliably maintains and grows a kingdom, its coffers. Without sufficient coin, it will be difficult to grow beyond simple thatch and stone. We must inspire the people. Well, which one do we choose? Our citizens and security are well, all important to our foundations. Ooh, Sir Hayward, how best can we help our people? You choose coin over citizens or security. Uh, how best can we help our people? I'm going to go for that one. I'm going to go for that people. I'm going to be a people's king. Without the procurement of life's necessities, we cannot flourish. Let us focus our attention on food, shelter, and other essentials. So that we'll have the strength to grow our kingdom. Strength can only be nurtured through creating a proper defense, your highness. The Chancellor means well, but given the fear these people still hold, we must let them feel secure. Food is security, Hayward, as is shelter. Continue. So. I agree, Chancellor Bodhi. Chancellor Declan is grateful for your support and informs you that he and the farmers have bought enough apples to support the early food needs of your settlement. Pick on one of me farmers' houses. Building, resident le happiness level, and any active effects on the house... And additional information is tracked in the selection of the interface. There are these. And then we have some needs. Building health drops if the building is damaged by fire, attacks, or revolts. When health drops below a maximum, the structure requires repairs, which costs resources. That's fair enough. 
The residents of a home are displayed here, in addition to their names and occupations. If the residents' needs are met or exceeded, more residents will be able to move in. The maximum inhabitants of a home depends on the class of house. This can hold a maximum of four, because it's a farmer house. Events, fire attack, disease. And they give different penalties. We looked at those a minute ago. Okay. Understanding housing. To grow your population, housing alone is not sufficient. You'll need to maintain your citizens' happiness. Your people have many different necessities, which, have, which vary from class to class, and fall under two categories, needs and luxuries. Needs are items essential to your population's survival, whilst luxuries are items that are richer lives for the better. Whilst providing access to these, you'll quickly raise a resident's happiness and allow additional people to inhabit available homes. So, if I was to get the more luxuries, I think that's what I said, more needs luxuries required for people to move in. Ah, so I think probably just firewood. And the happiness of the resource bar displays the overall happiness of your people, and we first separated one hovered. They have different colors, lower values, values drops, the more physical impact. Income tax is reduced. Production decreases, enchanted stress of sickness, increases emigration rate. Uh, the farmers are 75% happy. 20 or more individuals of the same class are discontent. There is a chance they may begin to... Wow, it's off a number, not a percentage. That's interesting. This is in this state gathered together outside the keep, shouting and raising torches to show their anger. Okay, angry people are here. What else you got for me? Now that you've provided houses, we should ensure that people have one other other critical needs met. Firewood. Let's chop some firewood. I'm going to pick that here. And of course, we are going to need to put somebody in that job. We have, obviously, five out of five builders. We have 20 people... Lloyd, how are we doing? I think I'm going to take one guy. Oh, Wal is at the bottom. There's zero people on that. I am, however, going to put... There's two people building. Occupations through the job menu. Information pane on the right-hand side. So we don't have any people employed here. Put that up. What I'm going to do... I'm going to go and... Take one of this. And... Two of this. It would be nice to be able to manage that from here as well. It'd be so quick and easy. It'd be, oh, it'd be streamlined and beautiful. That's all I'm saying. Because uh, we do have quite a lot of wood and not as much stone. But I think we need more wood than stone anyway. But I'm actually going to take one off primitive stockpile as well. Uh, we have one wood chopper going. Fantastic. Let's go to the apple orchard. I'm going to drop that down by two. Job site priorities can be increased or decreased. Just it's the higher priority. It does, in fact, have what we need. We can go back to where it was. Is represented in their own tab. Owned provisions can also be cycled through to observe and adjust the priorities of each class that inhabits it. I only have one pro one uh, province. That's not putting up anyway. Warming hearts, two of two. With our workers issue solved, produce 30 firewood at your wood chopper. Insert that it is in every home. Ah, now of course. Right, I'm going to... Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Of course, because I don't have any people in here, I think they don't go back and forth and pick things up as much. Because... Okay, these guys deliver directly. That's good. But these guys, these guys just store it until it is gathered and brought here, I would assume. And there's only one guy doing that, so I'm going to take another guy off here. Put him onto here for now. And I need more people, basically. So let's go ahead and fast forward till we get that 36 wood in our store. Maybe it just needs to get to a certain level before it's moved. 
I'm quite sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, they do deliver it. Okay, they deliver 25 at a time. Okay, so that's good to know. Oh. <laughs> 24 of that just disappeared. Then I only have to get 30 total, so that's fine. Let's go full speed. And once that gets 100%, we should be done. Done. Our people now need a source of food, but an apple orchard? Done. You'll find farms. Once your farm is placed, collect 30 apples. Collect 30 apples. Now there's 72 here. What point does it get collected? I mean, I've got 250 in store, which is, I think is what I started with, roughly. Let's press play. I need someone to go and deliver some apples. Let us come here. Take another guy off this. And I don't know where he went. <laughs> Let's have a look at our job list. Ah, he's, he's not unemployed. Ah, he went to the well. We don't need anyone in the well. Let's put him on the orchard. Because we do have 500 water. Which is more than we can in fact... More than we need, basically. And it is just stored at the well. No, it's not stored at the uh, this place. And this place is also full, so... We definitely do with some more buildings that will take... ...up some water. We have 108 here. Is anyone going to deliver them? Or are we supposed to be going and fetching them? Oh, we got an extra person. Put them there. Oh, I don't know if that'll help. I mean, this place has a problem. I don't know what that problem is. Storage is paused. It's full. It has no storage. Is that what it's saying? It has no storage? We've got an extra space for 250 here. Um... Let's go and build me a road here. I don't think that's the problem. Okay, they're not being delivered. Why are they not being delivered? Because it's outside of food storage range. That'd be exactly why. Hmm. Well, that's highly annoying. However, for the sake of this, I am going to go and... Yeah, we've got four more people. Nice. That means we've got three idle. Let's go and... You guys have two. You guys have three. You're maxed out. Put another one there. Another one there. Get my basics up and going a bit more. And... Put another one there. That is all my people employed. Okay. This place does have three people employed in it. What have you taken jobs off? The well and the wood chopper. Oh, I don't like that. Um, put the wood chopper up first. The apple orchard can have one for now. And I don't need to worry about water. Reach a population of 40. I assume, yep, yeah, because... But I assume I'm now maxed out at 24. Why is 25 farmers housed to unlock? Oh, that's just rude. Let us... Uh...
build a few more. We are in well, food, and stockpile range. We are the three squares that we see there of different colors, which is fantastic. Let's go back to full speed. Need to... Consumes two per day on apples, which will then allow us to get our third person moving in. Which of course, then should watch. Yep, our population let's go up very nicely. Let's just go primitive stockpile. Yep, you're probably there. Just stick one more in there. Let's just open everything up, to be honest. Oh, let's calm down a little bit. Food stores, I think, are on max. Apple Orchard. Open everything up. Okay, everything is opened up to max. And as we get more people... Uh, 12, 16 times 3 is 48, which is what all of them should eventually have. It would be very nice as well to see whether this is generally increasing or decreasing. It would be nice to see a consumed and produced, say, on a timescale thing as well. Just watching it and trying to figure it out sometimes. It could be nerve-wracking. And the next thing you'll know, you'll see uh, you have zero apples. Okay, we still have plenty of space left for people. Uh, logger camp. What's going on? Remove. I'm confused. I didn't get that. Huh? Remove flag, I guess, is just how you remove the thing. Why did it? No available storage in range. Oh, we've maxed out on... That's fine. That's all perfectly fine. So I have 16 houses and they've all got two people in them. Oh, we need more needs or luxury. So it wasn't... It wasn't apples that opened that one up. It would again be nice to know what actually opens them up. But I guess... Uh, well, I need 40 farmers just to unlock hemp clothing anyway. What's that? 36. So let's go and build. One. Two. Uh, my storage is actually over lock. Three. That's two, four, six. I need one more. And can very easily build another row of them. Behind. And we have another event coming up. We have almost reached a population of 40. The soil here is rich on its surface, but the farmers doubt its stability mere feet below, which could inhibit the growth of rich, reliable produce. Chancellor Declan comes to discuss these concerns with you. Oh, your majesty, the farmers are weary. They fear the soil in this land is not keen for growth. Angela Declan, as we travelled into Nysamore, many of its fields were lush and abundant. Such flora can't arise from spoiled earth. Still, the farmers are struggling. It is possible that the locals have knowledge or skills unknown to us. How different can things truly be here? But I'm no farmer, and growing crops is essential to our survival. We may be able to study the land, though that could take a bit, or find someone local with greater understanding. What are you getting me to do? Let's uh, find a knowledgeable local. I believe it is entirely possible, Highness, with the right scout and offer. Their knowledge will prove invaluable, I have no doubt. What can be gained outweighs any potential risk. It is a risk to be certain, but I trust your judgment. Uh... 
Willingness to learn must help succeed where Aldemore failed. My bench too. Sown. Oh, nice. I'm, oh, I'm now getting 80 wealth. Love it. You require access to new resources if you hope to produce higher quality items. Hemp, the cornerstone of textiles, is a great way to begin producing finer goods. Hemp farms are slow to grow, so be sure to keep them as a top priority for your workforce. Find the hemp farm in the building menu. What does hemp go to out of curiosity? It does go to storage. Okay. So a hemp farm needs to be near storage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build me a hemp farm here. Not too small. Not too big. I'm going to... I've already built this road, so do you know what? I'm going to occupy all of that area. <laughs> ah! Food spoilage. Your food supply has been affected by a mysterious rot. Oh, well, that's just rude. Okay, we have some hemp supplies going. How are we doing? We still have seven unemployed people. We have 40 people, so done. Um, can we... Ah, oh, here goes our thing. Welgum Crystals in Territory. Minus three happiness. No rubble buildings in Territory. What was this about? Hmm, how do I get rid of this stuff? Maybe that's what that, uh, I need that farmer for. Okay, well, everything's going along nicely. Food does seem to still be going up, so that's good. Um, what I might do... Is be sure of things. I'm gonna build me another farm by there. We are hemp farm needs an outfitter. Use their goods, for example, the fermenter uses apples, water, and firewood in order to produce cider. So we want converts logs into planks, which are used to production of most higher tier structures. Interesting fermenter. And a wood chopper. Okay. Need a hundred hemp just to build an outfire outfitter. Wow. Lumber yard. I assume this doesn't actually need to be in range of the storage place. I think what I've gathered that is just for Maybe? I'm not sure. Let's see what this says. Logger camp. Well, no, it does seem to say, although this... No, there'd be two people building it. Prioritize deliveries. Oh, so it does have to have wood delivered here? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We'll see what happens. Maybe it does need to be in range of a stockpile. That being said, if that's true, I would say I would like to see maybe a few other little options when you get further into the game, because... Needing a stockpile to deliver goods for your people and because firewood does come in this, yep. We're gonna firewood. No, we do have firewood, that's fine. Uh like I said, yeah, firewood does come here, and so does a lot of other things. I mean it makes it quite a quite a high one to be honest. And we have most of the stone being delivered. And we are building. Only one builder. Somebody else get there and help the poor guy. Hey. You. Aha! We can build our outfitter. I don't suppose. I'm actually going to... Build right next to my hemp farm. And we do have problems. Uh, no workers. Which is fair enough. That's because it's at the bottom. So is the hemp farm. I'm going to... Use that by three. I'm going to put the well at the bottom. Whoops, no. Hemp farm up. Well down. Well down. Well down. 
Arya's camp again. We're going to drop you down by three. That does feed people further down. I'll go camp down by three. I don't know if that keeps jumping back up to six when we get the ability to actually have people there. The lumber yard is now in production. We are going to have to get the hemp ant fitter uh, up and going if we wish to actually improve these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a whole bunch more houses. And that will get me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 more workers. Soon there then be another 6 on top of that, plus however many we have here. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, it keeps going down and then going back up to 6 when it reactivates. Okay, there's an interesting one. That also will uh, definitely needs to be sorted, because that is a very annoying thing. But let's put that at the bottom. Do you know what? You can get the workers when they're available. Is you are definitely a low priority at this point. As for the quarries as well, let's put the quarry quite far down. Uh, just above the well, I've got I've maxed out on water. Um, let's put the apple orchard up, the hemp farm up. Uh, the lumberjack kind of up, although no way. Outfitter now needs to come all the way up. Put him above the lumberyard. Yep, that'll do. Food stores can also come down. And the wait, food stores just above the primitive stockpile. Done. You have a problem of. Yeah, same as this one. Yeah, so I think I think they have to be in range of the stockpile to have goods delivered. Me doth think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build me. Well, it'll end up being a couple more stockpiles, actually. The primitive stockpile. Go there. Then. Do. Yeah, that leaves almost no gap whatsoever. We'll build one there as well. And that goes out to there. And with that, I'm just going to say, we're going to keep playing, but I'll probably chop this into two episodes, folks. So I'm just going to say thank you for watching this episode. It's been a pleasure, but we will be straight away continuing as we're going to keep playing this game and seeing what happens. So uh, we'll see you in the next episode, folks.